When using git in the command line, you oftentimes find yourself rewriting long commands which can get tedious. This video aims to replace some of those commands with bash aliases so we can move with lightning speed when developing. To start, let's understand how we can define aliases in the bash terminal. I'm on a Raspberry Pi right now, but if you're on any Unix machine like Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, it all works the same. To define an alias, we just do alias the name. So I'm going to do sandwich. And in quotes, it's the command that the alias will run. So I'm just going to echo something. So like that. So now if I type sandwich, we can see that it runs whatever you mapped it to in quotes. Because I defined it directly in the command line, if I make a new terminal, this sandwich alias won't persist. In order to keep the aliases in every terminal session, let's create a file with these alias definitions. So to start, I'm going to make a file called aliases in the home directory. And we can do this with the touch command. So touch tilde forward slash aliases. And this just makes the alias file. So if we do ls a, you can see in my directory, I have a lot of stuff here. Let's uh, list it all like this. So we can see aliases was created right now. Next step is to add the aliases file to your terminals config file. And we can do this by opening your bash RC file in Vim. If you're on Mac, you run this command. So you would do zshrc. This is for Macs. But if we're on Linux or Raspberry Pi, uh, open bash rc like this. Cool. And you might have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go to the very bottom of the file. If you're in Vim, you can just do capital G and it brings you to the bottom. I'm going to make a bunch of space. And then right here, we're going to add an if statement, which basically means if there's an aliases file in the home directory, add it to the terminals config or incorporate all the alias definitions from that file into the terminal session. So how you do this is the dash F aliases. That's the if statement. Then tilde forward slash aliases. I misspelled it. I'll fix it like that. And that's how you close an if statement. F I nice. So now if we source the bash RC and remember if you're on Mac and running this change bash to Z S H like this. Anyway, bash RC didn't get any issues. So now let's go ahead into our aliases file. We ran touch earlier, but instead let's run Vim. So we open it up. I'm going to add a new alias in here to show you that it works. So I'm going to add a new alias called water. Let's do another echo. Let's just echo one, two, three, and then close the Vim, close the file. And if I type water, you'll see that it doesn't work. Why is this? Because we have to source the Z or bash RC again. And then if I type water, it'll work. This is a little tedious. Every time you modify the alias file, you have to source the config like I did right here. And to make this better, let's go ahead back into aliases and let's add a new alias above water alias, add alias like this. And what this is going to do is first, it's going to open the aliases file. So with Vim like that, and then after it's going to do source bash RC. Now remember changing bash to Z S H R C Z -S R C if you're on a Mac. All right. So now let's go ahead and close this. Now, if I, uh, I have to source it one more time, but now if I run add alias, like so, and I change this to say four, five, six, I'll prove to you that the changes take effect immediately after I close the file. So now if I do water, immediately takes effect. Try again. Do 79, water, everything's good. Now that we've created our alias file, let's go ahead and define some aliases that make using Git faster. On this Raspberry Pi, there's a directory called my RCAM remote, and this is a Git repository, so we can test out our commands on this. If we do Git branch, we can see all the different branches that exist in this project. What if we had a command that would push to the branch for you? Normally, when you have to push, you have to do Git push origin and then branch name. And this can get tedious if you're working with multiple branches, having to specify every single branch name all the time. So let's make an alias that makes life easier for this. So we need to extract the branch name so that our git push origin command will always work. 
To start, let's grab the branch name using a git command like git symbolic ref short q head. And what this returns is this returns the current branch that you're on instead of the current branch you're on highlighted along with all the other available branches. So we can use this to our advantage because now if we want to push to this branch, we can just do, I'll echo the command just so you can see how it populates the branch. Git push origin and then in quotes or in dollar sign and then parentheses, I put two exclamation marks, which just is this command. So if I go ahead and run this, what this really ran was this command right here. And the result was git push origin logging easy. So now let's go ahead and make this an alias. So we're going to do add alias, the usual. And below water, we're going to make a new alias, this time in the form of a bash function. So we'll do PO, which just stands for push origin. That. And then in here, it's going to resolve to git push origin quotes git symbolic ref. Remember, it's what we did just now. Short q head like that. And I'll leave a comment here just so we always remember what this is for. Comments in bash are the hashtag symbol or pound right here. So I just put it above so we remember. So now if we do PO, it wants to push to the origin branch and it's asking me to use a GitHub login because I don't have my SSH key set up. But anyway, we can see that this works. Nice. Let's add another one. Let's make some space here. Let's add alias and let's add one more. So what this should do just does the same exact thing except it pushes it force force at the end so dash dash force sometimes you want to overwrite your branches history so now you can just do pof instead of git push origin branch name force nice so po works it'll ask you to sign in pof same thing and then let's add one more alias which say you have some files and you want to make a commit and then push as soon as it's done as soon as you've made that commit Let's make an alias that when you run it, you just pass in a string for the commit message. It commits everything and then pushes to origin. So to do this, let's add a, thir a third and final alias down here. Let's call it CPO. So commit push origin. And down here, we'll do, first we wanna make sure that an argument is sent to the function. So we'll check if the dollar sign one variable is set. So what that looks like is dash Z checks if something is set. Well, it checks if something's undefined or like, you know, not set. So uh, if you do dash Z negative one, uh, then down here we can just do then. Let's echo. We'll say that just, you know, prompt saying to supply a commit message and try again. And then let's return. Nice. And then if they did supply a commit message, then we'll run git commit dash a dash m. And then in quotes dollar sign one, which is what the user sent. And then we'll push origin using the alias above. I thought I'd open VS code and show a live example on how this is really cool. So for example, in the readme, let's make a random change right now. And then we can use our aliases to interact with Git in a much faster way. Let's say in my readme, I want to add a greetings message or some hello. So if I'm on my main branch, let's switch to a new branch. So Git checkout. And now we can do CPO add hello message to readme in quotes. So now if I do that, we can see it commit everything and it pushed for So now let's go ahead and verify that things are there. And we can see that hello readme was pushed. I look at the commit, it matches the quote that I did using my alias and the changes are all good. If I wanted to push again, I could do PO. It'll say everything's up to date. Or if I want to push force, that will also work and everything's up to date because I already pushed. But yeah, simple aliases to make your life easier.